Hey guys, I'm David Hislop, and today we're going to look at the second set of guitar parts for the song Have It All from the album Have It All. And this song is in the key of G, and it's set to 73 beats per minute. So the effects I'm going to use for this first part, we come in with a line on the verse right before the chorus, and we are using a slower dotted eighth delay. And we are going to use uh, the Magneto reverb on the Big Sky. Sounds like that. Kind of has like a lo-fi, chorusy feel to it. And we are also going to use um, the Destroyer setting on the Mobius. Sounds like this, just to add a little bit of modulation. It's really subtle, uh, but kind of gives it some texture and movement. So the first line just follows the vocal melody, and it's uh, on the second half of the first verse, and it goes like this. Okay, so pretty simple, it just follows uh, the vocal melody. And then from that, we're gonna go into the chorus, and it's just a pretty simple picking line just following the, the melody of the chorus. So I'll play it for you. Keeping the uh, same delay settings, and we're switching over to a bloom reverb. And turning the Mobius off. So that chorus line goes like this. All right, so pretty simple. Uh, like I said, it's really melody-based. Um, so the first half, we're basically just playing the melody. Repeating that. Then going up here to fifth fret on the B string. And then hitting the E on the D string. Then walking down. Playing the B and the G string there. And then the second half, we're adding a little bit more of this G shape right here. So we're gonna hit the um, fifth fret of the D string and then play the melody with it. And then the same walk down. So that's the chorus line. Um, then we go into the instrumental section, heading to the bridge. And for this, we're gonna um, switch to a bloom reverb and a slower quarter note delay. Sounds like that. Still keeping the same gain settings. We've had the whole song pretty light, um, just barely breaking up. And the melody line goes like this.
All right, so not much to it. Um, it just kind of builds dynamically. You're playing it uh, through twice with just whole notes. And then the second two times, you're gonna do um, those quarter note or eighth note hits uh, on the melody line. So then we go into the bridge where the vocals, the part of the bridge where the vocals come in. And we're gonna just play this little arpeggiated line along with the chords. And it goes like this. So for the first part, we have the same drive settings and the pattern playing it clean goes like this. After you play that through twice, then we are going to kick on some overdrive. And as you notice, I started kind of adding in some strums and digging into it. And that's just to build dynamically with the rest of the band. And as you uh, get towards the end of it, you're almost just in full strums uh, leading into the big instrumental. So after that section is when we hit into the big instrumental section. And we're going to play that same lead line, um, but with just more, a lot more drive and keeping the effects the same. So that sounds like this. So as you see, it's the same exact melody line, just more drive, more aggressive. Um, and there's that little kind of fill in there to give it some flair uh, in the middle of the melody. So all you're doing there is a little bit of vibrato. So from there, we go into the last chorus. And for this, we're pretty much in chord land, just slamming it and giving it a lift. So that is going to sound like this. So we're playing the one there. Here I'm just basically playing a G bar chord, but without the five right here. So I can hit the sus. And then we're jumping up to an E power chord. Then C. Back to E. A minor. Back to G. And then for the second half that, of that G, I'm jumping back up to do the sus. So. And then you just repeat it for the second uh, chorus. And that's pretty much it as far as the parts go. So I'll play it through 
uh, with the track so you can see how it all fits together. Take this life and breathe 